Well, good evening. Happy Thanksgiving. It is uh, Thanksgiving evening. Uh, and I just finished installing this last fit um, switch kit for replacing my factory Rubicon um, switches. So I no longer have the factory sway bar. So I got rid of that and I'm using air lockers, um, ARB air lockers. And um, I needed a way to control the front and um, rear air locker solenoids. And um, LastFit was kind enough to let me have one of the switches um, for an install and kind of a review. But I'm not going to do a, a full review as people have already done. I'm just going to show you how I did it with my kit. Um, if you have the dual battery, Genesis dual battery set up, you cannot use either one of the brackets that comes with the 3.6 um, gas version of their kit. I actually took um, one of their brackets and cut it to fit over there by the uh, the coolant reservoir, which I'll show you here in a second. But um, their harness is long enough. So the, the harness is long enough to mount it wherever, wherever you need to, um, other than power and, and ground. So you can put it over there and then everything that goes in the cab um, still... It's fine, but I extended their harness um, power and ground. Anyway, so you get two uh, two power wires and then a ground wire, which uh, I put to the the body grounds on here instead of running it to the battery. Um, it's just a cleaner look. And then I snake skinned everything back over there. Their box is installed here. And this is the, one of the brackets that comes with the, the three six gas kit. Um, again, if you're running dual battery, what comes with the uh, with the kit will not work. So I ended up chopping their bracket off here, um, and then drilling two holes to mount to the the factory holes up here, and, um, and that's super solid. Uh, you get one set of um, aux inputs here. You get two two aux. Well, you get two aux, and then a front and rear locker solenoid control um, here. The rest of this harness, um, you can see where I extended their power wire and their ground wire there, um, just goes through the uh, firewall opening, the, the most common one everybody knows about. And once you're through there, you can run the harness across. I ran mine all the way across to the, to the passenger side and then ran it and then ran it into the center stack. So when you take the center stack apart, um, you get access to uh, to everything. And, and I replaced it with this switch panel here, which works great. I mean, it's exactly what they say is um, plug and play, no programming, no nothing. Um, the once you connect it to the CAN bus, which is super easy, you put it into one of those into that gang right there. I'll show you here in a second. Um, but it works exactly as advertised, um, which I'm, I'm very pleased with. So we can turn this thing on here real quick. So you turn it on to put it in run. Turn the radio off. Now you get um, aux A, aux B, and you'll see that you get a warning if you try to um, activate the lockers if you're not in four low, which I think is great. Um, now, if I put this in four low, now it'll let me engage the rear locker and the front locker, just like regular switches, which is great because uh, it's going to activate and deactivate that quickly, especially for... Uh, air solenoid so it'd be a lot quicker instead of waiting for the transit time on the magnet but if you try to uh, engage your front locker with your rear locker off um, it's set up just like the factory rubicon where it won't, uh, it won't let you do that so you can turn rear on then you can turn your front locker on um, if you turn the rear off it turns the front off also if you have both lockers on and you just go from four low into whatever neutral four higher too high, it turns the, the lockers off as well. Uh, very handy. Um, it's pretty much as easy as you can get. You know, it's really uh, the not program the the not needing to program it. Um, I think.
think is a big, big plus for this kit. And you just kind of just plug it in and, and it works. So on top of having inputs here, you have inputs on the inside, just like the factory on the aux switch box um, comes with. So once all this is cleaned up, um, I'll be using these to, uh, to run the solenoids, which is through an extension harness that I bought from Expedition. Um, so this is my front and rear locker extension harness. Um, and then this, this I need a rewire to turn the, to turn the pump on. Other than that, pretty awesome. Pretty straightforward. Here's the uh, the CAN bus gang. So I ran the wire through the back of the dash. I've got to clean all this up, but um, you just plug that in and, and it all works. Um, the back of that panel, well, the front of it has a CD piece right there. That's a uh, Ethernet extension for a, for a radio. Um, they give you this wire so you can plug it into the back and then you can run this behind the glove box, which is where I'll end up putting the radio. But that way you don't have... Um, you can just unplug your mic from there and put it in the glove box. And when you're ready to, to wheel or, or talk on the radio, you just plug it in and, and then hang the mic up. So it's not always, not always out, which is cool too. Um, that's it. Thank you. Bye.